Alrighty folks, what's up? Welcome to another session here of the Germany, the fully accepted culture European run. Look at that beautiful country. Now I have some really depressing news. There's been a little bit of a discussion going on in my uh, comments about Kiev. Uh, unfortunately... Kiev is a princedom or whatever, Russian unique government type. And he is not going to be able to actually form an empire government rank, apparently. Now, I was musing over it, and I thought we had a few options. However, as it happens, I, I don't believe we do have those options to actually have him become empire government rank. Uh, so... If we look at him right now, he is accepting Belarus the old-fashioned way. Ruthenia, I believe, is his main culture. He's accepting Novgorod, Novgorodian. And I imagine that he will accept Muscovite just because Muscovite is so large. So that is only two culture slots he's filled. Now, I know we have a large amount, but he should easily have two two more that's not an issue for Razan and Karelian uh, the issue is that the dev is kind of low enough in these areas that I don't think he would accept it both Razan and Karelian but in particular Karelian so I've there's a few things that come to mind a few options and one is that we dev push this for example which is grasslands we dev push it. Now, I'm so freaking depressed because uh, currently we're three overall di diplo relation slots with our subjects. I'm going to cancel this as soon as I can because of his stupid government type. But it's 13 years away. F my life. That's so bad. Yeah, what we could do is just integrate him. That's another option. That will be sooner, I believe. In six years, we can integrate him. Anyways. Um, and, of course, we have the worst freaking ruler we've basically ever had. For the next 11, 12 years or so. So that means we're getting the fewest points we've ever had, at least any time soon. We do have the rank 5 advisors, etc., but this sucks. So it's a bad time to be, have to dev push. Uh, alternatively, we can basically abandon what we've achieved and reconquer this. Which would be awfully depressing. But if he doesn't accept these cultures, guys, it's going to cost us the whole freaking game. It's a hard call. It's a hard call. But in other, other news, Lapland has accepted Sweden and Finnish, which is uh, perfect. He obviously will accept Lap, Lap, uh, Sami as well. And uh, my plan is to give him, when Oshus comes up in a year's time, as much, if not all, of, of the Norwegian um, culture as possible. And at that point, he will have gotten every Scandinavian culture except for Denmark on lock. As far as Denmark is concerned, I'm going to actually do it myself. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it myself. Um... Speaking of doing it myself, I want to convert Constantinople. I'm not sure that's possible. Might do that. And, uh, yeah, my cash. Let's build some more counting houses. As we've accepted the last thingy mabob Institute. And these are 285, but they finish fairly quickly. So let's go like that, and that's just about all the economic buildings we're ever going to build, really, at this stage, isn't it? We're basically done in that regard. All right. Now, we're getting three less here, guys. I'm going to make a little bit of a compromise. If we go to our policies, I'm going to be taking a military policy here, one diplo relation and 20% reinforcement cost. So by taking that policy, I basically traded one from military and gave it to diplo. Because the policy costs a military. Um, yep. 
I feel like we can afford that. We're ahead in military and we're just going to be really careful with our military points. But that's going to allow me to get nine Diplo points per turn at least. And let's get back to it. So uh, my plan is to dev push Kev his Karelian land and uh, I hope it works dude. It might not work. We're just hoping that he accepts Rosanian and Karelian. And uh, yeah, this this is bad. This is bad. I hate our ruler. We could manage everything, but our ruler ruined our life. So as far as wars, uh, truce comes up next year with Denmark. And I think that might be exactly what we're going to do. Wait, I don't need that. We This served its purpose of us deploy vassalizing the Mamluks. And now we're going to go to Ragusa. To core up for us. Alright. Um, somebody was saying give these to Greece. Guys, I totally want to give them to Greece. That's my plan. But I'm just going to convert this back to Greek. And I can't trust him to do it. This is 53 dev. He will He will just, com uh, he will just uh, accept Turkish culture. I guarantee you. If we give him that, he'll just core it up and accept Turkish culture. So, uh, yeah. Otherwise, uh, we're looking out for that opportunity to PU Crimea if it comes here when his ruler passes. And I would already be crushing Moldavia, but I'm worried about the truce with Crimea. So I think we're just waiting on... We are just waiting on... The truce with Denmark here. And uh, yeah, finishing a large bunch of naval units, it looks like. So I'm wondering if there's any way we can get this bonus if we're going to dev that. Frick, the missionary will not progress at all. So I'm going to need to find a missionary advisor and then use the edict for missionary strength. One missionary strength. And then see if we can convert Constantinople. If I can't convert it, then I might as well give it to Greece and just give up. Um, yeah, I'm just freaking depressed, man, because we were able to be a little bit reckless with our points, you know? Like core up stuff that we were going to give to Savoy or whatever. Uh, because we're so far ahead with the rank 5 advisors with the, the above 50 power projection and with the, you know, good ruler. Uh, but it's no longer the case. That, that ruler that we had did not last long at all. Feels bad, man. Not at all. Just where the Ottomans comes up next year as well. Yep. That's going to give us quite a lot to do. Seriously? Now we get influencer events, man. Frick! Frick! We just discovered this guy out here. I guess that's why we got imperialism against him. Rip points. I'm going to try to have Kiev accept this culture, guys, by dev pushing it. I, I, I don't know what to do. This is going to cost me the game. It's going to freaking cost me the game. I don't know what to do. It feels so bad, man. Come on, Kiev. It's worth it, dude. I don't know how much it's going to take. We've also pushed this Grasslands province to where it is, um, despite its bonuses, it's cheaper to div some of these now. So, that's what I'm going to do. Yep, feels bad, man. We have some some states available, which is good for, and uh, I think I will state up this area, 42, that's a good little area, for sure, and that will give us more influence in Lebec. 
<sighs> okay, um, I should be positioning myself to fight Denmark. Bring our navy over here, as we'll need it to march into Norway. So, we're going to give most of the land to Lapland, so we don't have to worry too badly about coring it up. Which is good, because I don't have any bloody points. Great Britain is a valid rival nowadays, impressively enough. So, we're not going to have any power projection issues anytime soon. I just have no clue how many points it's going to cost me to develop. It's going to start becoming expensive, guys, to develop. I want to state this up, but we don't have any admin points to use to state anything. There's the truce. So we go back to war. Now, where is his capital? It's in Gotland. All right. We're going to need our navy to come around. Oh, reduce tech cost. Guess we'll go for admin. The least valuable points right now are Diplo. Because um, we already have the Imperialism CB. In my opinion, at least. This is only 10 years, so it's pretty much the next tech is reduced. Fine, let's do admin. Oh, wow. Denmark has a stellar navy, dude, considering his size. <laughs> Such a small little dude. I actually want to use the Forge Siege General here and bring that out. Yep. Norway doesn't appear to have any forts over there, which is good, so we should have no problem taking it. Now, we will have a problem taking this and giving it to Lapland unless I give him the occupations. So I will actually have to go out and deal with that. That's irritating. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Ah, oh, fuck. Frick. Dev in Constantinople increases, which will make it harder to convert. But... No! Seriously, 15 loyalty! <laughs> Crap! Mistakes were made! I shouldn't have taken that event. Damn it! I thought the... Ah! Now this is unhappy with us, and I thought we'd get the dev cost from that. I'm dumb. God damn rip 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 apparently that sorted out the crisis for now though that one more move so thank goodness for that that wasn't too bad yeah now this just became harder to convert because it got plus two more dev So I will need to mobilize my navy after this to go give Iceland over to Lapland. That's going to make uh, the actual occupations. That's going to allow me to do that. Um, alrighty. The Ottomans. Obviously he's next. I want to make short work of this war if possible. We could use two stacks. Is that enough? Hmm. It might be enough to get things started. The Ottomans are obviously still strong, right? Yeah, he's he's really, really strong. He's got tons of manpower. Okay, so these ones up here are Arctic. They're basically dumb to convert uh to to push. It's basically these three. <sighs> okay, let's not push anymore. Come on, guy. Accept the culture, please. Please.
I mean, we pushed this to 21. Like, that's that's not bad now. 10, 9. No, he, I, I don't think he's going to do it, dude. I'm really skeptical he's going to do it. I'm sad. Oh, dang. That Capital City Fort Level 3 dropped real fast. Real, real fast. How many have we captured? Zero? Ah, oh, wow. That's sad. Losing ships there over a pathetic fight with Denmark. Heavy ships, even. None of them are outdated. And feels bad, man. So these are heavy ships, at least, coming along. We need that to reinforce our heavy ships now. Coalition grows. Okay, so I have to make sure we can hand it off to Lapland. Yeah, it's going to be based off of occupations. Dang it, dude. So what we can do is this. Give this to Lapland. And then I don't need to worry about the occupations of the other ones because we have a neighboring province. Rather than going for Iceland, I'm thinking about just piecing out for the sake of um, time here. Is that enough for him to accept Norwegian? Who knows? That's 37. Dang, that's a lot. Yeah, I expect he will accept Norwegian culture. Berg Rom All right, it's all you Lapland. Please accept that culture. And uh otherwise let us mobilize as quickly as we can against the Ottomans. This is a French province, right? Dijon. Dijonese. Well, this is uh, going to be Brittany's issue uh, eventually. So it gets plus base tax and production. That's good. Development costs, construction costs for unrest. And Linz. It gets un... Where is that? That's... 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 Ah, uh... oh, man. Losing Dev and our land and giving it to French land. Freaking game. That ain't cool. Alright. Go, go, go towards the Ottomans. And I will bring the navy around. Hopefully these finish. That's what I want to see. Because the navy will help against the Ottomans. Without a doubt. Uh, but I think three stacks are probably enough to get things started. Take this forward. So part of the priority here is going to be taking the Rosanian land to give to Kiev. Still 38. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. I feel so insecure about my run. How things are currently going. I'm going to state this up. Despite barely being able to afford this. we got to do it while we're in the Golden Age. And yeah, I'd love to give this to the burgers, but I, I can't really. Um, either way, they increased our influence here. 
and I can now accept Danish culture. That's a fourth culture slot accepted. So we must own these two provinces here in the future, our south directly. And then Denmark, Danish, Danelands completed. Okay, truce is up with Austria. And uh, we can actually embargo our rival here. Now my navy, I wish to repair. now looking good again on navy for now sailors are okay yeah it feels bad man dude we keep suffering casualties each time we do naval combat and we never we never steal ships successfully so what was our uh, naval we don't have a naval doctrine no we do We did, we're doing the trade power. Mm, that's pretty bad. We could do 33% chance to capture ships. Or we could do naval maintenance. The naval maintenance would probably economically benefit us as much as the trade power would. Although the trade power is pretty good actually. When we're trying to combat Great Britain. I don't freaking know. Who cares? Who cares? Let's just leave it. Uh, how much is it to, to change? 1,000? Um, no, I, I don't care. Especially against the Ottomans, we'll capture all his galleys, like, who cares? So, he's got a lot of allies that we have to fight as well. God dang it. Timurids are on par with tech. Dang it, dude. He's got quantity and offensive, so he shouldn't be that strong. Um, frick! That's actually awkward, dude. We, we can't underestimate this war. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we can't underestimate this war. So the coalition actually grows, surprisingly. I guess Great Britain's in the coalition. Um, I'm, I'm surprised that a coalition is a thing at this stage of the game. We have people like Portugal and Friesland who are not even bound to Europe any longer. Uh, where is Portugal's capital? Yep, in West Africa. They are rivaling us. No, not rivaling us, but coalitioning us. Oh well. So as much as I want to smash him as well, the Papal State, right now I feel like uh, we don't have the points to do bloody anything that I want to do. Anything at all. I'm depressed, guys. Because it's there's no guarantee any longer, you know. There's just no guarantee that we're going to get this. Uh, I would have to cancel. I'm wasting all these points. I'd have to abandon abandon personal union, wait for my truce to come up, and then rework this entire territory. Like, I really don't want to do that. And right now, I'm spending points. So... Feels bad, man. And that's... Not including the uh, Razan. So where is this guy's capital at? Because that's the Imperialism CB. We need to go here. Totally doable. His forts are still whack. We'll definitely win this war. Like, Look at Brittany's troops alone. Let's go. I will be doing Imperialism. And we've got some friends nearby, which is very cool. Hopefully don't have to wait too long. Look at this war. Wow. This is uh, the most comparable in terms of numbers that we've fought uh, in the longest time. The most challenging war, apparently. So, um, let's see how we do.
this Crimean dude getting really old, 52 years old, but he just doesn't want to pass away. Now, our air is bad, but he's not as bad as this, right? Like, I can't wait till my air comes along here, guys, in uh, nine or so years. I can't really afford to matillery, matillery barrage, in my opinion. Feels bad, man. So we're just waiting the old-fashioned way for these forts to fall. Artillery barrage? Why am I saying martillery barrage? What is wrong with me? Martillery barrage? What is that? What even? What even is? Okay, now the Timurids are probably going to mobilize their troops quite easily, so here's hoping that our friends do the same thing. <sighs> I hate it when it affects so many provinces you don't even know where or what they are. Thirty-five thousand. We can handle those particularists just fine. Okay, my navy has an admiral. True. I could go without a, a general. One of our generals is not so good, eh? It's this one. Let's do one stack without a general to get that extra military point per turn. <sighs> and we're just hoping that this turns green, guys. We divved it a lot. Some of you guys were suggesting to do that, but uh, also with Romania. I'm less worried about Raguza accepting Romania than I am Kiev accepting Karelian. Oh, this is a good fort to fight on top of. At least uh, George is achieving something. Did a freaking general die right as I deleted one finally? Oh, damn game. How are you going to be so mean to me right now? Can't hardly afford the freaking roll generals. Army tradition is not very good. Feels bad, man. Feels sorry for my son, for self, man. Feels so Batman. Feels so Batman. Okay, revolutionaries in Lapland. That's not a concern if he was to become revolutionary or change government type or whatever. That's okay. I made a monarch in my dynasty just in case we, we want to release him, but I'm pretty confident he can just be a traditional subject and he will accept everything that we require him to accept nice over the straight okay tick up ahead of both of these dudes So there's a transport. How many transports do we have here? A decent amount, indeed, with the other ones over at home. Oh my goodness, he's got a good general there. That's sketchy as. If we're going to be fighting in the hills, there's all sorts of timorids coming in my direction, I'm sure of it. Gotta watch this like a hawk. I I would not really want to fight on those mountains, but hoping the mountain forts just drop quickly due to our such good siegeage. 
or Cigerino skills. <sighs> Trying to watch them. Before I roll a general, as much as I would like one, I'm kind of... I'm trying to, uh... Get some military tradition, actually, which is going to be battles when we engage in battles here. Army tradition. Provinces that produce wool, cloth, silk, or cotton are now more likely to trigger industrial events, gain two base tax in Ulm, base production in Ulm. Sick. Oh, okay. Fighting the whole world that I don't even know about. Allies are coming along to hopefully save the day. Brittany too strong, could get wrecked. Of course, Western units here in the late game are stronger than the Ottoman units in the early game, if you see what I'm saying. I mean, it, the balance has changed, is what I'm trying to say. But then also, uh, yeah, the Ottomans went quantity. Because this guy has offensive, and otherwise he's just started quantity. All right, fair enough. <laughs> I guess it's mostly the numbers in the, the Western units there beating him. Okay, so enthusiasm is beginning to diminish. That's what I'm talking about. Which is going to allow us to just peace out if we wish. But, uh, yeah, with such a large-scale war, it's going to be difficult to get the war score that we need. These forts are doing very little for us. Another general died. Or something. My siege general died, but I don't know. Maybe it's my imagination. Maybe it happened a while ago. Okay, let's let's try to win some battles. We have taken war score. Let's try to win some battles. That's a superb general. The Ottomans are reinforcing here big time. Forty one that costs, thirty nine that costs, now it costs forty one. Oh jeez, this is painful. Forty one. Come on, please accept that culture, dude. Stack wipe him like a champ. Trying to get army tradition here, guys, before we roll these generals that I want. 2nd of November. I think he's committed there, has he? He's got no general, so we'll stack wipe him here. These Ottoman reinforcing troops are really satisfying to defeat. Sick. He's doing a good job giving us war score as well. Uh, yep, army tradition is definitely increasing by these battles. He's not backdooring us. In fact, we're doing a good job going around and attacking the Timurids with our, our allied troops are. And uh, the Timurids have low level fort levels as well. Beautiful. Well, he got over there, but we dealt with him no problem. Feels good, man. A general is here now. It says same day. Was Will Germany beat Ottomans? I think so. Nope. Germany will not beat Ottomans, same day. Yeah, this is doing my head, and I don't know what to do, guys, about this. This is a problem. Don't know what to do. Conquest. 
combat is giving us some uh, war score here, but we need to lower his enthusiasm as well. So, and gain army tradition. So I'm just going to keep fighting. That's the capital city. Hopefully, one of our friends can go over there and take it out. Another military leader dies, dude. <sighs> Just all my leaders die right when I need them. Typical. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lie, guys. This is pretty depressing. This, uh, with the whole Kiev situation, it took a, a turn for a worse, this campaign. 42 is the cheapest, I think. 41. Forty-six. Forty-two. Oh, there's one here that I've been missing out on. At least it's cheaper. Let's do this one. Okay, Brittany's got a general there. Brittany should whoop this guy's ass unless he's got some reinforcements. He's got a river crossing as well. Tremendous amount of reinforcements here. What's Brittany's general look like? He will give him the river crossing, but unfortunately it's not very good. And I can't equip a general here myself. I'll try going. <laughs> bail, bail. He's not going to make it. Bail on that. So with that in mind, let's stick these two together and when that occupation is done, I can equip a general. Which is what we need. Alright. He's low enthusiasm. That's good. That's real good. Uh, we just need some more scores. So I'm thinking about giving Georgia his cores. Um, no, we should just give them Circassia, but... Yeah, uh, the Mamluks is the other thing. They have increased cost giving them to Mamluks. It's awkward. I need to make occupations to be able to give them to myself, right? That's the idea. So that we benefit from the imperialism CB. This should hopefully be a stack wipe here. Maybe not. Must have been close. So these forts are not blocking his path, are they? His pathing. Yes, they are. They totally are. Sweet. We should stack wipe him here despite him recovering some morale. Freaking two generals, dude. Two generals remaining. We, we've gotten like only two army tradition from this war as well as if still not accepted I mean it's genuinely becoming worthy to accept this now dude like 12, 13, 12 24 3, 3 come on dude please it's the cheapest there these are the cheapest. <sighs> Stack wiped them. Frick. Jebated into the hills, into the mountains, rather. But we're just too strong. Stack wiped him in the hills, in the mountains. Feels good, man. 
I honestly didn't expect that. <laughs> he had like 32,000, we just stack wiped him. Too easy, mate. Okay, so they haven't been doing a good job reconquering f forts at all. Well, we take forts. By the way, that policy that we took with 20% reduced reinforcement cost, that is such an economical policy while we're fighting this war. Okay, uh, here, trade would benefit us a lot. percent more trade is a good one to have okay so they are actually sieging some stuff up in north africa considering i'm only working on one fort at a time that's uh yeah irritating I don't know, man. 43 is the cheapest. I don't know, man. Kiev, please be nice to me, guy. So, the priority I wish to take is the Rizanian culture. Could do this. So, um... This war was not very uh, worth my while, unless I really kind of annul his alliance with the Timurids or something. So let's see if Kiev can get that capital and maybe we can piece out the Timurids. And I'll go head over towards the Timurids with two stacks. To try to piece him out. Okay, some Swedish dudes. So, Norwegian culture is not accepted yet. He's struggling, but our, our friends are up there fighting the rebels. It's good. He's struggling the core partially because of the uh, revolts. guys are taking that fort back quickly and this fort back quickly that's the annoying thing about low level forts man you siege them quickly but then the enemy sieges them back quickly it becomes quite awkward Kev's going to take a little while to get that, unfortunately. This occupation. I can't take land up here if we don't have a fort up in this area. Which is really freaking awkward. And that's why... Uh, I'm going to call it quits, lads. I'm going to call it quits. We're just going to get out of this war. We did our dash. Now, these due to occupations will be mine. That will be to Georgia, which is costing me extra. Yeah. Uh, I'm struggling, lads. I'm struggling feeling the, the the fantastic brilliance, guys. I'm struggling. This, uh... <sighs> we could have done it better, you know, with Kiev. We could have done it better. Now, what we're going to find is... Uh, he, he's probably not going to accept Rizanian either. <laughs> He should. Rizan is like 17 development, I think.
and who knows how much dev it will take. But I kind of feel like we committed. So let's look at his resigning culture. That's like 11, 16, uh, 21, 38, 45. I don't think we counted there. 49. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot. Hopefully he'll accept that, dude. Because that's all the resigning we have. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take a break from just developing him for now. Um, then, of course, naturally, we give him the rest of the Muscovite core and he, he, he he's going to accept it. So I'm thinking in terms of the Uralak, it won't look the best, but I'm going to give it to Crimea. So my thoughts with that is if we snake Crimea out there, then give him all of this. Um, Perm was itself, the capital was uh, devved up quite a bit. So if we give him all of this, I think he will accept Uralak. And then it's about making him Empire Government rank, and that helps him get Empire Government rank. But of course, he's not even our personal union yet, so we have to sort out the Crimea. Freaking stressful stuff, guys. We're running out of time. Feels bad, man, running out of time. Uh, otherwise, this Romanian situation still can't be resolved, because I'm looking at this, and uh, otherwise, so badly can't wait till my... Mediocre air comes of age because our current ruler is absolute freaking garbage. And I'm also looking forward to integrating this dude who unfortunately is rebellious. So the solution there, yes, pay off debt, that's a good solution. And we'll chuck some prestige in his direction every now and then because um we have prestige. And uh yeah, integrate him, which will cost us some diplo points, but it will get rid of a diplo slot. Uh and of course this stuff here is gonna go to Circassia. And uh, I'll actually do that next episode. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to give all this stuff to Circassian. The idea is we're going to turn this into um, either the subject will fully accept this stuff, hopefully, if we give them all of it. Or now some of this is Asia. In fact, I think all of Armenia might be Asia, maybe. So it's, it's basically having this guy accept these two cultures, which is totally doable, in my opinion. We might not have to pay you or anything like that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I really hope that we can get Kev to sort out the culture issues in future episodes. I'll see you then.